Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jimmy Malcolm. It's time for episode 16 of season 5 of Vikings. Last we saw, we got the best episode of the season, I think, and most of you think because we kind of focused in on what was going on with King Alfred, Uber, Bjorn, and company. Uh, King Harold, King Harold, um, Bishop Hagman died in battle. King Harold was defeated. And now we got some more stuff on the plate. I hope this continues. I really liked the last episode. Really, really liked the last episode. Let's get to it. That is not the end of our business today. Guards, arrest the traitors. Oh, shit. Not his brother. You will soon have cause to regret these actions, Lord Alfred. That I promise you. You want to so unfazed by everything going on. <laughs> Valhalla, what is that to us? Kill this cocksucker. And you learn. I'm with the shits. Motherfuckers reckless. From here to Kattegat, from Ireland to Vagia, from Scotland to the steps of Rose! Yeah! It's not happening, but God, <laughs> I wanted to. King Harold. You're a free woman. You can do anything you like. Just exercising my freedom. Perhaps we shall meet again. Who knows? You can leave now. Say she's free, sir. Hey. He saved my life. He was implicated. You have I've already decided to forgive him. Yeah, all right. Have you told him that? Nope. Get! To the king! That's a fucking soldier, Jesus. But that if I agreed to replace him, the coup would be bloodless. And you agreed to go along with them. They wanted to stage the coup just before we left for battle. They wanted me to give the signal. I refused. Then you are involved. I told you. <laughs> I refused. It's a fucking sign. You should know he's a piece of garbage. I will never, ever betray him again. You guys are right. You're right about all this shit. She's not with the shit. She does not forgive. I played chess with Prince Alfred. And now I would like to play chess with him again. Finally. Good. Get Ivar back out there, goddammit. Doing what he does. Didn't want to listen to him. Loki. Let them die. I understand. Everything. We're gonna be putting up numbers fast. Goddamn Michael Jordan. Well, there is very little we can do. I wish there were. At least I can find the ingredients for some hot salves. Are you. Elswith, you must not lose this child. So much depends upon this unborn child. Perhaps the future of England. I'm sure it's his baby and not Bjorn's. I have to do something for myself. I don't belong here. Do what? I want to take Kathy get back from Ivar. Woo! How? 
You have no army. You're gonna die, though. That sort. He will just kill you. What is that? They killed your son. And they killed your daughter. If you want to tax Cadigan, he's dead. That is fact. He asked to save these people. I'm going to leave the decision to you, Shadrick. You know me, Loki. <sighs> felt very much like the end. Like when Ragnarok gave a speech to Aslog and fucking down the fucking line. Aethelred is very popular. Yes. You can trust him. You can trust him. I had somehow hoped he would not be quite so popular. And the church. Yes. Thank you. It's a bad look. After all, brought us back together again. All right. Who knew what the gods had in store for us? Totally forgot. All together. He's gonna be threatened by Bjorn's. So tell me, Bjorn is. How's my brother? They're not real Christians. They. They have no charity in their souls. I simply want to get rid of him. But for Wessex and England. <coughs> she did not. Of course, I understand. <laughs> but surely, he must care about Alfred. What have you done? What the fuck? I don't believe that you have ever accepted your brother as king. You could always be a danger to him. So you threaten me. The son, you crazy motherfucker. I totally forgot about that and fucking hate the red. Alright, that was episode 16 of Vikings. Where to begin? First things first. I, but listen. Judith is, there's something wrong with her. There's clearly been something wrong with her. If you kill your own son, even if you believe it is in some type of, uh, 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 worst of two evils. You know, you kill your son to protect your other son who might be in danger if your son is conspiring. At Whatever. You just murdered your son. You poisoned him. Now you want to cry afterwards. Not interested. I love Judith. I always have. But she's clearly something wrong with her. I don't know if she's bad or crazy. Or both. Um, definitely morally questionable. <laughs> but who isn't on this show? Um, wow. 
I didn't think she would, at least not cold-bloodedly. And she did. Just clean. So Ethelred kind of signed his own death warrant. Do I think he would eventually turn against fucking Alfred? Yeah. I think they're very similar to, believe it or not, Ragnar and Rolo. They're brothers. I'm sure they love each other. But this one of them is never going to get over that. That dynamic they have. And it's just, yeah. Wow. I was wondering, maybe it was a setup. Maybe Uber and, and, and um, Judith had maybe set something up where he was going to pretend to be sick because he has a history of that. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then. Just to see where what you call his head was at. Nope. It was legit. And his fucking feelings were legit. So they killed that motherfucker. Well, she killed that motherfucker. Wow. Um, the other major point, which is Bjorn deciding to join King Harold to go after Cadigan. That's not going to go well. King Harold has got beef. I, I don't know. I think he will try something. I think he'll try something during the battle. And make it look like an accident. That's my guess for King Harold. Or maybe he'll just kill her. Harold is just fucking insane. And I love him too. There seems to be a theme going here. Um, I will say this, however. As much as I don't enjoy Floki's storyline. And it made a comeback this week. And I don't particularly... Enjoy what's going on with Ivar. Things are looking up. Because at least Floki storyline appears to be going somewhere. I thought it ended last week, but whatever. It's going somewhere again. But Ivar appears to be ready to head back to the battlefield in a chess match with King Alfred. Which is what I thought we were going to be getting this entire last half of the season. That's what I thought was going to be happening. It has not. But it's on the way. And I'm ready. And I like the removal of Lagatha from the show for the moment. It gives other things time to breathe. It kind of builds her up, which I thought she's needed ever since she's been with kind of uh, Bishop Hageman. She's felt kind of not as lagatha -y as I want her to be. Um, so I'm interested to see where they go. I like this episode. This is a good episode. This is another good one in a row. That makes two... Really good episodes in a row. Not as good as last week, so let's not get crazy. But it was good. I enjoyed it. Anywho, post your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe. 